we're finally back on the range. It's been about two years. Been super, super busy in the shop. I haven't been able to get out and, and shoot as much as I'd like to. Uh, we've been cranking out your guys' orders. We, we appreciate all your guys' support. But, dude, it's time. It's time to get back on the range, man. We're going to bring you some of our new products, some new drills, and overall, man, just get back into shooting. I feel so pumped. Dude, I'm already sweating. It's like 100 degrees out here. But I'm having fun, man, knocking the rust off. And uh, we're going to get back to it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do that. We're going to post a ton of gun content down here. And... Uh, It'll be new models that we're coming out with, things that we think are cool, you know, maybe a couple different other shooters with us and stuff. So it's gonna be really, really fun, man. So I'm excited to get to it, man. Let's hit the range. So we just got done doing a, ch a check drill. Dude, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of those. I was really, really slow. But you know, once again, man, shooting, getting back on the range, shooting all the time, that speed will naturally just come back to you. The importance is, is going through the motions correctly, not skipping any steps. And you'll notice like when I first started, I didn't do my scan, you know, and I really didn't even look in the, in the chamber to make sure that that's why the, the rifle had stopped working. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing this, do it all the correct way, right? And then, you know, as the repetitions come, the speed comes with that, right? But we want to focus on accuracy as well. So we're not just trying to squeeze off around, you know, just to get the, the drill done. We want to make sure that we're accurate in it, right? So having a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to go now. We're going to do uh, one reload ones, and then we'll probably do some pistol transition drills, and then we'll start getting into shooting some fun stuff, man. It's always good to end the day on, you know, shooting some full auto stuff or some nine mil stuff, working on some handgun drills. And man, I'm stoked to be back out here sweating like like crazy everyone here is sweating but uh, the gun that I'm shooting today uh, primarily is my rifle this is a heathen rifle uh, it's a 12 and a half inch gun this actually used to be our number one selling rifle in the shop now uh, the grunt has surpassed that but it's our gen 4 billet set upper lower it's got an ambi bolt release on there it's got our 11.7 mlock rail um, it's a mid-length gas system so this gun shoots super super flat and uh, for my optics I run the aim point stuff so huge advocate of aim point optics. I run a T2 with a three time magnifier. I got a Steiner D ball on there with a surefire light. And then I always run a can. Um, I use the uh, mini SOCOM 2 from surefire. And uh, dude, I just, it just fits me, man. It's, it's what I'm used to. I built this gun for what I like to use. It's still one of my favorite rifles to shoot. I brought a grunt out today too, you know, just to get some reps in with it. But uh, always got to start the day with, uh, with the favorite rifle. So, all right. So we just got done, finished up with the Heathen rifle. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this rifle right now. Uh, this is the Metal Militia Trooper rifle. Uh, this is a brand new collaboration we did with the guys over at the Metal Militia, uh, Larry and Brian. Uh, super, super solid gun, dude. I love this thing. Uh, it's a 13.7 inch gun, mid-length system. It's pin and welded, so it makes 16 inches, the legal length that you need for a rifle. So this isn't an SBR, nothing like that. Uh, it's got an M-Lock rail on there. It's got our nitride bolt carrier groove. Um, dude, it's just a super solid gun, lightweight. I think retail on it's like 1400 bucks. Um, I'm gonna do some reload drills with this. I'm gonna do some transition drills with my handgun. Uh, kind of just get back in the swing of that. Um, so the drill is we're gonna shoot once. It's gonna go empty. We're gonna you know check, make sure everything's good. We're going to transition from the rifle to the pistol. Come up, shoot a couple rounds from the pistol, come back, grab the rifle again, and then we're going to do a reload and then we're going to uh, be ready for the next set. Uh, let's get back out there. Dude, it is so freaking hot out here. It, uh, dude, we're all just drenched in sweat. So uh, it's making it uh, very interesting today, but uh, hey, we're out shooting, so it's a good day. Shoot, look, shit. Doo doo.
Oh my god. Do it again. Do it again. Dang. Dude, like I said, I love this gun. Uh, it shoots super, super flat. Once again, aim point optic on there. It got a Steiner D-ball, uh, Surefire light. It's just, dude, I love these guns, man. Super lightweight. This is probably one of my new favorite rifles, right? Um, I shoot this in the Grunt a lot now, as well as the Heathen. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for a out-of-the-box, battle-ready carbine, this is it. I mean, dude, it's just hard to beat this gun. Uh, it's got a 13.7-inch mid-length barrel, nitrite bolt carrier group, full M-lock rail on there. I mean, it's just solid. I love it. That's a wrap. Uh, dude, I had a whole a whole bunch of fun today. Uh, got a whole bunch of gunpowder on my hands, man. It was a good day. Got to shoot some rifles, handgun. Get some of the rust knocked off me. Um, gonna be shooting every week, man. So uh, I'm really excited for that. Uh, the guys at the shop, Jonathan, man, he's, he's got the shop just on lockdown right now, man. Dude, they're, they're cranking out so much stuff. And uh, he's doing such an awesome job, man, getting those guys dialed in there. Uh, so it frees me up to come out and uh, shoot at the range more. So that's going to be the thing, man. Every week we're going to be doing some new gun, gun content, man. We'll do some cool stuff, drills, new guns, just a whole bunch of stuff, man. So tune in and uh, I'm going to go drink some water now, man, because it was hot. So we'll see you guys on the next video.